if you haven't noticed, we've been on a bit of a Pennsylvania kick, right? That there is a 1955 YNL GP7. I don't think they made it too many years. That possibly is the only year they made that. And of course, all the lettering is wore off. Um, I'm looking for a shell that has the Pennsylvania lettering still on it. I'll eventually find one maybe or just get a different locomotive. And of course, this is the Pennsylvania SD45 shell on what used to be a Union Pacific FP45. I got the Binghamton train shell. That thing runs nice. We're going to do a service on it, I think, today or tomorrow, where I pull the, the trucks and get grease in the motors and stuff like that. But uh, Pennsylvania, Lehigh Valley, which is Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Delaware and Hudson reached down into Pennsylvania, down to Scranton, and uh, pulled its way up through New York State, supply New York State power and other things with coal. Of course, that's long gone. But today, I've got this box. A New York Central track ballast tamper. And this was a present. And I think what I need to do is to disassemble some of these longer trains. Eh, maybe leave one. Maybe take down this train right here and build a work train. Well, I got all this modern horsepower. I might as well use it, right? Well, it came in the box with these two clip-on devices, which are designed to clip onto the track. And hit this so it goes back and forth. So you can have a section of a track where it goes back and forth. I don't know whether or not they clamp onto the uh, fast track. I think they may only clamp onto the uh, tube track and so I put this on the track it's new it's never been run unfortunately it has that telltale white gum that Lionel put on some of their locomotives so I know it's going to be dry and sound nasty and it does so I'm going to have to pull the shell and get a little bit of oil into that that motor before I put a little time on it. I don't want it to run like that. But it's in perfect condition because it's new in the box. But typical of new in the box Lionel of that era, it has gum for grease. What do you think about this beast? Man, I'll tell you what. It's easy power right there.
And I think these early Williams, I'm going to guess it's from the 1980s. Um, before they started getting fancy with the the bling inside there with the computers. Just simple and uh, very inexpensive. You know, you can find these things for not a lot of money either online or in train shows. But uh, that era works really nice with the conventional transformers. Well, the Bariac. They don't take a lot of voltage and they don't take a lot of amperage. They're quite efficient and they can pull quite a train. You know? Kind of curious what's going to happen when I start doubling up with these things. I'm really not sure I need to. It's kind of like the Lionel's. Here's another one we just put together. This one here is a beast too. The Lionel was ahead of the game, I think, with those two motor train masters and F3s they had put out in the 50s. I mean, they pull hard by any standards, even today's. But uh, these can be had for about half the price. Again, the only issue I have with these things is the scale. But let's get back to this guy. I'm going to go pull a shell and take a look inside and see if I can't get some oil into him. Okay, taking the shell off of this is not readily obvious. You have two screws. I like that size. One here and one there and then what you have is you have see those steel little catches right there and they sit down in that slot so you got to take that body and push it back just a little bit you got to lift the front to get these two tabs up out of that cast frame and then you got to push the shell back to release those hangers there before it comes off. That's a familiar looking thing, isn't it? Looks just like a, what you'd see in a gang car. So let me get some grease into this. It looks like I could use some. And uh, we'll see how it works. So I got a little grease in there. Let's see if it'll work in. Still think I'm going to have to pull the armature. Well, I did take that out and sure was dry. So the oil wasn't working its way down in there. So I'm going to put a synthetic grease in instead of an oil. And I learned that this little lever here, it doesn't uh, make it go forwards and back. What it does is a gearbox where on one side it engages the tamper and then runs at a lower speed. And then on the other side, when it clicks the other way, it goes to a tamper off at a higher speed around the track. I think that's pretty cool. So basically you can run around the track and then set those two um, blocks to where... It hits one, then slows down, the tamper goes, and then it hits it and tamper stops and it picks up speed and goes around the track again. I think that's really cool. So I'm going to put some synthetic grease down in there, top and bottom, a little bit of oil, put it back together and see if it runs a little smoother. All right, let's see if it runs a little smoother now. Yeah, it's much better. So now it's lubed and stuff. 
I'll just uh, check the tightness on those screws and put the, put the body back on and see if it'll pull, uh, I don't know, a lower caboose of some kind. Make a work train. If not, maybe we could add one of those little army switchers to it. They seem to be geared about the same. Very, very cool. I like this thing. I got that stuff over there. Actually, it came from Harbor Freight. I put it in one of these. And that's what I've been using. And uh, I'm sure there's probably better materials. Better lubricants, but that seems to work pretty good. One of the things I like about it, it has the same consistency as Vaseline. It's a very light grease. And that's what's in here. So to put the shell back on, I got to take those kind of hooks and get them to hook into the, I have to take my hand off the camera. Now right, you got to kind of pull back and push those down into the slots. And then this is not going to go down until those drop down into their slot so I gotta push it forward so I can do this with one hand like that and then they drop down and then you can put the two screws in so it's not readily obvious on how to put that shell back on just like it's not readily obvious on how to take it off but there it be let me get the screws in and we'll see if we can pull a small work train with that thing. All right, let's see if this work train can make it around the track.
that's really cool for me. It's got that little built by Lionel logo on it and the number 8578 tamper. Little horn. Little lights. Those tampers work. Got a little radio antenna. Communicate with its foreman somewhere and handles those two cars quite nicely. So, nice little work train. I'm going to make that a wrap. <laughs> I like the thing. And of course, with the tube track, you can set up those, the trigger, that lever at the bottom to slow it down, kick it down a gear and activate the tampers or kick it up a gear and have it take off. So that's what came in this box right here. Very, very cool.